Hello, this is Steve Palladino at uh, Palladino Power Project, and I want to uh, bring another video to you. Um, this is uh, more on uh, selecting intervals or selecting uh, segments in your power center file, and more specifically, in this case, it's a uh, CP test. And so uh, I will also draw in the uh, super power calculator uh, in this particular example as well. Um, this runner uh, completed a CP test is a three minute, 10 minute protocol. Um, and uh, by the way, this is the uh, Stride Power Center, the, the new user interface, which is, which is beautiful. Um, and so let me, let me just go through this. Now the problem the runner uh, ran into is um, it did a great execution of, of the, uh, the uh, protocol. But in the laps, um, he got a, a nice three minute test. And notice how I, if I click on this, it brings that three minute segment up. I click on the graph as a whole, it brings the whole thing back. So the three minute test, the lap function worked. But when he got down to the uh, 10 minute test, it actually segmented it out for some reason. I don't it's some something screwy went with his lap function or whether it manual lapped or auto lapped, I don't know, but it, it came out. And so it made it a little bit more challenging for him to you know figure out what his three minute, what his 10 minute um, power was. Well, I never use laps. And here's here's a here's a good reason. We discussed this online just just recently. Um, let me find that, that three minute segment here. Um, there it is. So look, look at this, this is a lap and look what happens. The lap button was hit here, but look what happens. There's a little bit of, of, uh, data smoothing. And, and, uh, so it takes a little while for the, uh, the power to catch up because of the data smoothing function. But look what happens on the other side. Notice over here in the, the, the upper right, there's, there's still power happening after the lap button goes off, again, because of the data smoothing function. So instead of relying on laps, I like to select. So let me show you how I do that. So we have, um, here's a three minute power and you can sort of see right here, there's sort of a stop. And you can sort of see over here, there's a start. So let me just drag that. And uh, let's see, there we go. And so what we have is three minutes. And for this one, uh, let's scroll back up. Average power was 288. So I'm gonna bring that over to Super Power Calculator. Uh, select this, uh, calculate the FTP or CP from and uh, anaerobic work capacity from two more activities. Select that function on the main page, then go to activities and you enter it. And so I put 288 for three minutes. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna get that 10 minute, which is really a problem because of his lap function uh, didn't work well. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm going to find um, 10 minutes, 10 minutes right here, 267, drop that in here, 267 for 10 minutes, and come back to the main page, and there's the FTP 258 with the anaerobic work capacity of 5.40. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Hopefully uh, you got a little bit out of uh, doing selections of your data, and uh, uh, see you next time. Thank you.